You know, we knew coming in that um, Miami is very talented. Um, has one, they have one of the best backcourts in our league. And, you know, if you'd have told me we were going to contain them the way we did tonight, and, you know, it, but everyone else stepped up. You know, Cornelius had a career high. They're just so talented. I mean, their bench, they don't skip a beat when players come in off the bench. And, you know, we had to expend so much energy to defend them, and then we had to expend even more energy to try to break their pressure. I was disappointed that we didn't handle their pressure um, as well as I would have liked. And when we did and got good looks, we just didn't knock down shots. And, and they're a team that just feeds off of their defense, and they just kept coming at us all game long. And, it, you know, we didn't really respond well in the first half. I thought in the third quarter, uh, we came out, at least we at least competed in the third quarter. And we challenged them at halftime. And, you know, that's all we ask is that we compete. But, um, you know, I give them credit. They're, they're very, very talented and they have so many weapons. And when you have that, that many options to score, um, as a coach, it makes your life a lot easier. Kawhi Bradley not getting the start tonight, only getting 13 minutes. What was mm -hmm. the, the coaching decision on that part? You know, Kawhi is just, um, for whatever reason right now, maybe our expectations of her coming on the floor as a starter was to guard the other team's best guard and then expecting her to score. And I think it was a, you know, a lot to ask of her. And um, early on, she was able to do that. And I think once we hit the Purdue, Purdue game, her numbers just started to, to decrease in her efficiency. and. I thought maybe if we gave her a different role of coming off the bench and playing free and confident and, um, you know, put, you know, bringing her into that position, hopefully she would embrace that. And, you know, I, I thought she did okay at times, um, but we needed her to be, a, we needed some primary ball handlers. I thought Cassidy Walsh was giving us good minutes. Um, you know, we're, just, we're struggling at the guard spot right now across the board. And we're just trying to find answers of having primary ball handlers on the floor, being able to have find shooters, um, players that can make entry passes into the post. Because I don't care how good our inside game is, you know, we have to have guards that can can do a lot of things for us. Um, if we can't get Brandy Harvey Carr the ball, if we can't make entry passes, if we can't handle the basketball against pressure, um, you know, we'll just we'll, we will struggle all year long. I'm correct. You guys entered the game, I think, like leading the ACC in assist to turnover ratio, and then today, I think, 17 turnovers in the first half. Was that just because of the full court press, or what do you think? You know, I think some of the some of our turners were um, unforced. It was just we we. I mean, sometimes we dribbled the ball off our foot. We got a 10 second call, um, just not being clock aware. We threw the ball down the sideline, threw it out of bounds on two different occasions. It, it's just a, a lack of focus. Um, uh, for us, I mean, it's, that's what I'm talking about, your guard play. And, that, and during that stretch, I mean, we're calling a timeout. We're, we're subbing left and right just to find somebody who can handle the basketball. Um, you know, and that, that's where our two starting guards with Jasmine Whitney and Asia Bug together, having those two um, handle the basketball. But uh, I think their speed and quickness really uh, forced our guards to struggle handling the basketball. You spoke about like holding down their two starting guards, obviously like, just 10 and 7 points, but why do you think uh, Cornelius was so effective tonight, didn't miss a shot at 24 points? You know, it's the best I've seen her play. Um, but she's not someone, she, when we talk about, you know, a scouting report, she's a guard that you can't go under screens on because it, one of the toughest things to do is to come off of an on-ball screen and hit threes, and she does it very well. And a couple times we had gotten, gone under. Sometimes we're in the zone, they move the ball really well, and um, they found her. She just, um, she had a really good game. I mean, she's very talented, and um, we just didn't defend her the way we needed her to. But, I mean, their bench had 49 points, and our team scored a total of 50. So the bench almost outscored us with, you know, it's, it's just a team that is really deep, and we just didn't have enough firepower to, to match up with them tonight. And I think, you know, um, once again, without having someone like Yasin, you know, we just we didn't prepare for her to have this injury and not be with us all year. And um, now that she's not go going to be with us, you know, players need to step up and they need to uh, produce because you know there's no waiting for her to come back and and contribute. Is it confirmed she's out for the year? She is. And um, 
So obviously not the way you guys want to start ACC play and coming off the Duquesne loss, but is there any positives you can take away from it? You know, being down 26 to half and not scoring in the third quarter. Well, I mean, I think we responded coming out of the locker room at halftime um, with that, with the, you know, the third quarter. But uh, you know, we're a team that you know we talk about not not playing a perfect game, but um, we have to we have to be able to compete. You know, we have to keep a game close and, and give ourselves a chance in the fourth quarter. And um, you know, we didn't, when you don't do it in the first half and you dig yourselves a deep hole like we did, it's very tough to come back from. You know, they're too good, they're too talented, and um, you know, this is you know welcome to the ACC for our team. And um, you know, it's, it, no game will be easy when you're picked at the bottom. You know, every every game we're an underdog right now, and. You know, I think our mindset mindset coming into the ACC is we play with everything to gain, nothing to lose. We just compete, and you know, get better with each game. You know, you hope you peak at the right at, at the end of the year going into ACC basketball. But you know, we're we have so many struggles right now that you know we have to we have to regroup and we have to come back and continue to work hard. And I'm not someone that just you know sits back and you know stands pat. I mean, we have to make changes. We have to make adjustments and. I thought Cassidy Walsh was a spark off the bench, um, hitting a couple shots, and um, she was scrappy defensively. So, you know, just finding combinations that work best right now. Uh, Miami's full court press was uh, very effective tonight. Uh, a couple of your players did say that you were preparing for that. Uh, can you talk about the, the the difference between you know having that preparation in practice versus uh, what you actually saw within the game? Well, I mean, we can't even we can't even simulate that type of pressure, and you know, so it's tough in practice to have your team do it. To we we don't play that way. We don't have the speed or the quickness or nor, nor the athleticism to do that. Um, so the attempt that we make, we don't. I mean, right now we're not in school, so our practice guys are not here. So we had to go against each other in practice, and it's just very difficult um, to to even simulate that. And and I had, I, mean, I told them that yesterday, but just trying to. Uh, prepare ourselves and what we need to do, the spacing, um, you know, advancing the ball, you know, whether put somebody in the middle, the reversal. But, you know, some of our turnovers are unforced and the, just the decision making that we made, um, you know, we just need to get better at doing that. I and mean, we haven't faced that type of pressure all year long. Brenda Wise with only uh, one of six shooting in 25 minutes. Uh, you know, how hard is it to? kind of work around when you want your key players struggling like that? You know, Brenna is, I mean, she's such a hard worker, and she's in the gym constantly working on her game, and, you know, sometimes that's this is a type of team that she can tend to struggle against, you know, the quickness, the athleticism, the size of trying to get her shot off. I mean, it's you saw the, I mean, the one time she was wide open, she looked like she was wide open, they got a piece on the, on the shot. Um, you know, she's not, it's not as easy to drive past these players with the speed and quickness that they have. Um, so just now trying to find ways to get her scores. I thought, you know, she had a couple good looks, but she was getting to the free throw line a couple times. Um, but she's, you know, needs to keep working at it because this is what she's going to see every single game that we step out on that floor. I mean, that's what she's going to face.